We are so very seldom alone. Always with people. With thoughts that crowd in. Hopes that have not been fulfilled or are going to be. And recollections. To be alone is essential for one to be uninfluenced. For something uncontaminated to take place. There seems to be no time for this aloneness. There are too many things to do. Too many responsibilities. To learn to be quiet, shutting oneself in one's room to give the mind a rest, becomes a necessity. Love is part of this aloneness. To be simple, clear, and inwardly quiet is to have that flame. To live simply, uninfluenced, though everything and everyone is trying to influence, without varying moods and demands, is not easy. But without a deep, quiet life, all things are futile. The mountains must be alone. It is a lovely thing to have rain among the mountains and raindrops on the placid lake. How the smell of the earth comes out when it rains. And then there is the croaking of many frogs. There is a strange enchantment in the tropics when it rains. Everything is washed clean. The dust on the leaf is washed away. The rivers come to life. And there is the noise of running waters. Trees put out green shoots and there is new wild grass where there was barren earth. Insects by the thousands come out from nowhere and the parched earth is fed. The earth seems satisfied and at peace. The sun has lost its penetrating quality and the earth is green, a place of beauty and richness. Humans go on making their own misery, but the earth is rich once again and there is enchantment in the air.